Greetings everyone, welcome to City of Digital once again and today we'll be solving the username and enumeration via response timing lab from Port Seeker Web Academy. So it happens many a times that uh, the web application actually checks for the username first and then if the username is valid then it goes to check for the password. So this actually uh, gives a time delay uh, like first if uh, someone tries to uh, give a invalid username then it will just uh, give the response very soon but if uh, they are giving a valid username and a very long password so the web server actually takes time to uh, check if the password is present or not so in this means the hacker can guess for a valid username in the server so let's move on to the lab and uh, start hacking so uh, here you can see your credentials winner and peter so these are our valid credentials and we need to find another uh, credentials uh, another username from this website so we have a list of candidate usernames and candidate passwords so i have already opened this and in the username enumeration via response timing so i'll just uh, go to my proxy i'll turn on the intercept and i'll just uh wait uh not now i'll just go to my accounts all right i'll type anything like a b h i maybe b c d p a s s w r t password okay i'll turn on the intercept and i'll just click on login I'll get you will get uh, this type of uh, request just send it to intruder and repeater and turn off the intercept all right once you are done you can see here it is showing invalid username and password once you're done we'll actually first test okay first we will test uh, if in the repeater let's go to the repeater so uh, in the repeater i'll just click here x forwarded for so i'll just explain why i am using this in a while so just click on send all right so it is showing us invalid username and password okay i'll just click it a couple of times it is showing invalid again and just look at here it will show so now after two times it is showing me in zero matches so what actually happened so now it has it is showing that you have made too many incorrect login attempts please try again okay so means it is actually blocking our ip okay it is actually blocking our ip so now what we will do is we will try to act as a proxy server and we will show, try to show the uh, website that we are actually forwarding these packets for some other IP uh, clients. So for some other IP. So that when it blocks, when this website blocks, it won't block us. Rather, it will block that IP specific IP address. So that's why this X forwarded for header is used. So you can read more about it from this website that is developer.mozilla.org and next forwarded for header so uh, i will just include this in the description too so you can just go through this and understand what how it actually works and how um, how actually we can use to bypass this ip blocking thing so uh, now we know that it is blocking so what we do is we will have to change this value again and again we'll actually have to change this value again and again so this doesn't block so i'll just uh, copy this make sure you just put this x forward for header after this upgrade in secure request or something do not put it after connection close do not put it i repeat do not put it after connection close then this header won't work because uh, this is the closing of the connection it won't work it will show invalid request header or something error so just uh, make sure you do not 
put this x forwarded for header after connection close or something so uh, i'll just copy it i'll just go to intruder in the positions tab i'll click on clear after the upgrade in secure request i'll paste this and i'll add two things all right uh, so in the repeater first let's check for one more thing we have a valid username right so we have a valid username like winner uh, okay like we saw that this is actually giving us so let's copy this password up multiple times okay so and we'll just do this winner so let's try with abcd i'll just try to send yeah so it's responding in 651 milliseconds right now what we will do okay 624 milliseconds right and now what we, uh, it was a, a typing error means uh, i had put two e so i will just check it for what it for okay fine so um now what i will do i will just type winner okay winner so it's a uh, it's given that it is a valid credentials winner and now what we will do we will just notice this change in timing so it responded in 624 milliseconds when the username was wrong now let's try for a correct username and let's try the same so it's about 624 milliseconds and let's try Yeah, so it's about 6.43 milliseconds. So it's actually, it actually processed this. It actually processed this. So I don't know why it was going. So it actually 6.43 milliseconds. So this is a small change, very small change. When it's about uh, 20 milliseconds change is there between the responses. So uh, this, from this we know that this actually exists, uh, um, there actually exists a username named Wiener. So uh, this is how what we will do in the intruder. We will actually look for this change in the timings. So what I will do is x forward for I will just select and click on add. I'll add a, a parameter on this point. I'll add a parameter for the user name, this uh, payload position, and I'll select the attack type as pitchfork. So what pitchfork actually does is it will uh, go for means pairs it actually pairs the payload uh, sets means the first payload of uh, the first list with the first payload of the second list first payload of the uh, first uh, second payload of the second list and the second payload of the uh, means the other list so uh, like uh, it pairs the links of uh, payloads so you can read more about how these different attack types and uh, things works in pop intruder there are cluster bomb pitchfork and battering ram sniper etc uh, so you can just go to this article and i'll just paste the this means this link in the description too you can just go to it so moving on we'll select payload in the first one we will select numbers and from uh, we will do one two say i guess 200 the reason we are doing 200 is we only have a hundred uh, we only have a hundred usernames i guess yeah we only have a hundred usernames so we only have a hundred usernames so i'll just copy it and um, i'll just do it let's say 200 let's say 100 that will be one one three all right and in the second payload list i'll just paste the 
username that I've copied and I'll just click on start attack so before starting the attack let me check if everything is all right so x forwarded for a username all right so let's start the attack okay in value so it's working fine all right so now what we'll do is we will actually try to uh, all right uh, we will actually go to columns we will check response received and we will actually check if there is a long enough password all right all right so what we did error was we need to give a long password so we will just go to repeater i'll just copy this password and i'll go back to intruder and i'll just paste it over here all right and i'll just I'll go to the payloads and i'll just start the attack once more okay so when the response received we are supposed to get something yeah so we got this active stat something named active stat so it is taking about 1730 so there is a lot of time gap between this uh, error so means uh, between the other uh, usernames and this username so it is uh, we know that it is actually trying to process this password means after it has found so this is this might be a valid username so we will note this active stat and we will now try to actually bypass the other things means we will now actually try to bypass the password so i'll just discard it i'll clear it up in the positions i'll clear everything I'll again select this uh, X forwarded for click on add I'll just remove this password and I'll just select this password parameter click on add and in the payload section in the one it let it be uh, from 200 to 400 and <clears throat> so i'll just configure it accordingly so uh, and in the so and in the second payload list i'll just paste the passwords so i'll just go to the lab passwords i'll just copy it i'll just copy it and i'll just paste it all right so let's check it once again so i have made changes in the first so it will just now show other ips uh, in the second so uh, it will just check for the passwords and in the response I have marked this X forward for as the uh, target payload position and the password as target payload position and in the username we have to change the username that we found so we found active stat so it was like active stat itself so in the username let's search for yeah so active stack and let's start the attack all right so we started the attack yeah so we got a status 302 for something so yeah it's like qazwsx so this is the actual password that is valid for the active stat account so let me copy it and let us log in and here we go we i just pasted the password and the username active stat and just click on login all, all right all right all right all right all right so i have uh, you have made too many attempts uh, try again in 30 minutes so we can also bypass that as we now know what to do 
so I, uh, because uh, in the initial stage i might have been blocked so let me just go to this i'll just send it to repeater in the repeater i'll just change the x forwarder for to something like 500 5 5005 active stat and in the pass i will just type this and click on send Alright, so um, this is actually a valid uh, so response in browser. Let me copy it and I'll just paste it over here. Yeah, so it's showing me salt. Yeah, now it is showing salt. So yeah, so we have actually solved it. So this is how we can solve this challenge and we learned how we can just check for the username using the time delays and how we can actually bypass the IP blockage. So that's it for this lab guys. Thank you for watching.